Next question is from Brother Louis 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 87. Can I still build muscle and lose fat even if I walk 25,000 steps a day? I work out three to four times a week and do intermittent fasting every day. I am also at a caloric deficit every day. What is your advice to do body recomposition successfully given my situation? Let's forget all the information he gave us because uh, then we'd have to design a routine and ask him more questions. Here's the real question. Can you lose fat and build muscle at the same time? Typically, you it's very challenging, especially if you're intermediate or advanced. Like if you're really advanced, you've been working out for a while, you've been eating pretty good for a while, and then you decide to go on a cut and you're like, I'm going to build while I cut. Like, good luck. Like, this is a very challenging thing to do. Probably not. We call that like the Goldilocks zone. Yeah. yeah. If you're a beginner, this happens all the time. Uh, every single I, new client I train gain muscle and burn body there, fat. In the there first is few an months. exception to that. The advanced or intermediate person who's been off on a layoff, right? So when I, if I've been off for a few weeks. Well, yeah, that, that I would put that in the same category. They're deconditioned. Well, yeah. So that's important though to, to note that because someone who's thinking that they're, they, they've been training for a long time, just mm -hmm. they, now they think, oh, there's no chance of me doing this. This happens to me every time I go back to my training, right? So, and the way I do it is I actually don't focus on losing. I focus on building. I try and eat a maintenance caloric intake and I go back to building. And you let the metabolism do the job. And I let the metabolism do the work. I figure, okay, this is my body needs, let's say uh, hypothetically, maintenance is 3,000 calories. Um, I'm back to training for strength and trying to build. I'm going to eat till I'm satisfied, say 3,000 calories. And inevitably what kinds of what happens in those first couple weeks is my body starts to remember where uh, that I had muscle. It starts to put the muscle back on. And then my metabolism starts to inevitably yeah. speed up, which ends up reducing my body fat percentage. Yeah. So it, aside from the muscle memory effects, if you're consistent, 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 yes. you're advanced, your best bet is to preserve muscle. So now, how do you best preserve muscle? That's a good question. You try to build it. Mm. The goal is always to try to build muscle because <laughs> if you're trying to build muscle and you're doing it right, you're more likely to preserve muscle uh, than if you if you weren't. But in a calorie deficit, very difficult in a calorie deficit, oh, yeah. especially if you're advanced to build and, and, and while losing body fat. Beginners, like I said, Every client I trained as a beginner, the first few months, that's exactly what we, we saw. Get those newbie gains. Yeah. yeah, I would see them gain muscle and burn body fat, and it happened all the time. I do think the the advice to this person though is to get out of the the deficit. So if you're gonna if your goal is to mm -hmm. try and to build muscle and you want to lean out also. Uh, being in a caloric deficit uh, and moving that much and training that much is not advantageous. Like it's going to be really tough yeah. for that this person to build muscle right here. They're more likely to to break down. You're, that's true. Now, yeah. are you guys familiar with this? Is an old. It's a famous study done in the nineteen. I want to say the nineteen seventies, maybe late seventies, uh, with Casey Viator and Arthur Jones called the Colorado Experiment. Uh, I might have brought this up a long time ago. We've talked about this before a long time. So ago. Arthur Jones is the inventor of Nautilus equipment. Casey Viator, the the youngest Mr. America, back then Mr. America was a big bodybuilding contest ever. I think he won he was 18. This genetic phenom bodybuilder, right? Really strong, long muscle bellies, the whole deal. He uh, Arthur Jones enlisted Casey Viator in his experiment. And the experiment was to test you know, one set to failure training on Nautilus equipment. Really what Arthur Jones was trying to do was trying to sell Nautilus equipment. And he took, and, this, and there were people there witnessing this and there was an actual study. And you got to see this. Maybe Doug can look this up. Look up the Colorado experiment, uh, Casey Viator, or just Colorado experiment before and after. Casey Viator goes in there and he does this like insane one set to failure for an exercise with forced reps and super set, like really, really crazy stuff. He ended up gaining like, 30 pounds of muscle while losing 15 pounds of fat or something crazy like that in like 60 days or something insane like that. And it was documented and it was real. And people bring that up all the time and say, oh, it's totally, look at that. Now, how long was a period of time was that with before and after there, Doug? It was a very short period of time. 28 days. 28 days he did that. He gained how much muscle and lost how much fat? 63.21 pounds of muscle mass gain according to this what, what? Yeah. now this was documented now here's what a lot of people don't know because horse he, steroids was well, like. well here's what happened casey viator is already a pro bodybuilder in that before picture he had stopped training and probably it speculated went off anabolics 
So he had muscle memory yeah, uh, to use. Plus, he went on some whatever they used back in those days, you know, D-ball deck or whatever. Then he enrolls in this thing. So he's got, like, crazy muscle memory. Steroids. Well, and this is and the then, point I was trying to make, right? So he would be yes. considered an advanced lifter. That's why I brought this up. Yeah, an advanced lifter who is taking off. And I, I noticed this when I just take a couple weeks off. So you don't even have to be off for a very long time. I right away notice when I've been off for a few weeks or a month or two of training consistently, and or that, even just being inconsistent with my volume. My volume significantly low. I'm sporadically training and just getting back up to my my normal volume of training and back to eating correctly and getting enough protein and taking calories like I should. And you get that transfer. Uh, yeah, I get that nice little build a little bit of muscle, burn a little bit of body fat. So it is possible for that. But you, what you're saying is so true is that if you're somebody who's asking this question and you haven't missed a workout in two years and you're training you know, three to five days a week and you've scaled mm -hmm. and progressively overloaded multiple different ways, yeah, really hard for that person to continue to build muscle and burn body fat. Yep. Most they, They've gotten most of those benefits already.